Well, hello everyone. Today we are talking about John Deere fan shafts, going from old rubber style to the new friction style. All right, so um, you can see I've got the old fan shaft here. Um, I was able to get this off the pulley behind there. Had to take a, a punch to the screws that were holding those halves on. So then you can see, and you can you'll need to do this with the friction drives as well. Um, I, I was surprised to find that there was compression on these too. Um, but anyway, you got to get some clamps. I've got two here, you know, I just kind of have them on the bottom in order to reach there, so not ideal. They're not perfectly offset from each other. Sometimes I've used my really long ones and had to, uh, like, pull off of there, but I realize now that this works pretty well. Well, so I will have to remember that if you got, like, a big C-clamp or something. But anyway, you draw this back, and then in here are these little keepers. Well, we can take them out. I may have to draw it back a little bit more. Fun, you can do it. Uh, I'll get them out in a minute. And then we'll take a closer inspection at this. Alright, it just took a little bit more. Um, so here's your two keepers. You can see there. And what kind of holds them on is this collar in here. Once you put them in, then that collar sits against them. And it sits in that groove there. Come on, focus. There we go. Um, so yeah, this this is the old style fan. You can see this is rubber back here, and that's where eventually this gets old. And uh, there's nothing that keeps the fan on at that point. I mean, your keepers and everything will keep this piece on, but the fan will just come right off. Um, so I'm curious to see how this comes apart. Not sure I will or not. Uh, I'm going to take apart the other fan assembly here. See if I got the spacer that I need to go in there. And uh, we might uh, take this out of here and see what all we can rebuild in here. Okay, so I've got my other fan shaft here with the friction drive on it. Some might question why I didn't just unbolt this fan shaft and use that one and so on. Um, I mean, I'd have to match up the, the piece where it uh, bolts to the governor. So you can see I've got my big long clamps and I've got this mostly pulled apart. It needs to go a little bit more. Uh, make sure you use like a screwdriver or something to get those out, not your fingers in case something uh, breaks free your fingers uh, won't get pinched or something also you can see I used uh, like pieces of wood here or something that's just to kind of help a little bit on these pieces um, I forget what these are called these outer discs here they're like cast might even be like cast aluminum or something and uh, they break very easily so you got to be gentle uh, prying on them All right, well, there you have it. Uh, so there's your collar. And just like I warned everyone, I broke one of those pieces. Thankfully, I have a spare. And uh, let me see if I can get all of these pieces off here. Okay, so I got everything apart here. Um, I guess first, let's talk about um, like we had. So coming off the end of... Uh, the fan shaft, you had your pulley, a spring. Um, here is, you know, this is, this piece is supposed to be attached to the fan, but uh, this one was not, but you've got your disc in there on the back side, like what I broke. Um, and then again, this is supposed to be on the front side, and uh, I, of course, broke the other piece on the front, and then you've got your collars and everything. Now inside of here, you have um, kind of this felt. I, I destroyed this one to get it out. I think you kind of have to. Um, just using like a uh, screwdriver, I kind of boogered it up and pried it out. And then you've got a washer. 
and you've got your bearing, a spring, and you've got this piece that goes up in there like the spring, and on the back side of that is a rubber piece. And then in there is a, a washer. Um, I don't know that it really comes out easy, and I don't need it to, and it's kind of unimportant. Uh, but anyway, whether the old style or the new style, this is what you have inside that fan shaft. So I have both of these apart, and I haven't ordered parts yet for this because I wanted to see whether um, I needed what um, most people talk about a spacer on the front of the shaft. And so let me explain that here. Now first off, you'll notice that um, this newer shaft has the uh, air pump in it. So if you guys watch, have watched my B video, I, I got all new parts and pieces to this, but um, so how this works is this here sits on this and it's eccentric so that as the shaft spins, it takes this ring here and presses it up and down, up and down. You can see this and a spring here and that I think lets air into the engine. Um, so the kicker is I want to keep this tractor looking original. So I want to keep this housing on it. Uh, the interesting thing is that these two shafts are different sizes. Um, that end will not accept this shaft end. The, I guess you want to call it, uh, this piece here has a bigger hole for this shaft. And that one has a smaller hole for that shaft. So I think I have concluded, well, I, I guess let me move to the front here. So they talk about a spacer that you need in order to convert to the, uh, the friction discs. And I still, I, I won't lie, I'm a little lost on it because that has all the same pieces in it as this one. And all those pieces get you up to here. But you can see here, if you buy that spacer, this is what it is. You're buying uh, a separate piece rather than it machined as part of this shaft that goes on that there. So it would be about that long. And you would drive it on with the bearing um, cup because that is what seats against here. So yeah, um, I guess I need to understand this a little bit better, but people say you need that spacer. Um, not sure if I want to, I don't have everything out of that one yet. Maybe I should just do that now and, um, and, and see if there is any different. I didn't look at the part numbers, but everything looked the same on the parts diagram, so... Hey, give me a moment. Let me, since I know I'm going to be using uh, this old shaft and everything, let me tear that apart. <laughs> 